Hello, everybody. Hi. Nice pineapples. My name is Darren. Thank you. I'm Pi- uh, I'm Graham. And we have seen the film Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Yes, we did. Uh, which I keep wanting to call Whiskey Tangy Foxtrot. You do keep. You've already done it a few times now. Yeah. Wingy Today tangy, alone. Wingy Tell tangy. us the story of Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. The story Tell is. Tell us. WTF it means. Uh, it's a lady. She's living in. Was she in New York or something like that? America. Actually, matter. Yeah. Um, she's Who's she pretty by? much Tina Fey. Oh yeah. Uh, she's 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 really good. You say that as though you're surprised. Uh, no, it's just she's predominantly in like um, you know like comedy roles and this stuff. This is a comedy. Uh, a lot of slapstick. This is a comedy. There's plenty of drama and stuff in it as well. Plenty of drama and lots of comedies. All right, so all right, so she's plateauing. She's plateauing. She's plateauing. Plateauing ah. the line. Ah. <laughs> <That was laughs> sorry, cle- I... that was cleverer than you gave me. Credit no, I, for. I, I did want. I, I thought in. I was going to laugh more than I did. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I did too. Don't um, let my non-laughter detract you from ever doing that again. Okay, all right. But because it was a good joke, don't I feel I you have to do it. Plateauing the line. Um, just in case you didn't get that. But um, basically, yeah. So she's absolutely sick and tired of her life. You know, just as going what. To- what is she? She's like a... She's a news reporter. No, she's not the researcher. She's not the time. Yeah, she, I think she's a researcher. I'm not she sure. She goes to the gym a lot. Again, it doesn't matter. Yeah, she goes to the gym. Particularly on the cycling machine. Particularly? That's kind of a plot point, actually. It is, but I won't go any further than that. But thank you. Okay. Um, and uh, and essentially, yeah, so she... It was the fact that they needed more... Um, she goes to Iraq. Yeah. They, or is it Afghanistan? All right, okay. All right. One or the other. I was giving more backstory to her, but yeah. She, she becomes to, an on she TV to Af- reporter. She goes to Afghanistan because it's the Forgotten War. This is the whole thing. Yeah, I forgot it. That's why I said Iraq. I know. I know. I realise. And, and it kind of proves the, the film. Po- uh, just Did it on purpose? Right just for that. Oh, um, I must have lost you. Were. <laughs> 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 Calm down. Are you were the one that said kissing. And um, <laughs> I didn't notice it. I didn't write that. You did. I don't even want to repeat you it. Act, you out loud anyway. finished the song off like you couldn't help it. Did I? I yeah, you remember doing did. it. You did, you did. I uh, feel like that's something I would have done, but I don't remember. Well, well proof is in the video. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, um, okay. I've been listening to a lot of Meatloaf recently. It's <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. It is. Uh, you've been eating it too. Um, Says you. Titty Mc. Fucking fats and I've got, I'm wearing pineapples. I'm drawing attention. That's any fruit that you see. Unless it's on a pizza. <laughs> um, or in the mirror. <laughs> you said it. Uh, um, talking about your plums. I was trying to fill it, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. So, where am I up to? Oh, yeah. So, she gets shipped out, basically. And then comedy hilarity, hilarity ensues. Yeah, but also drama. Drama and serious. I tried to explain this point before. Yeah. There is drama. It starts off quite funny and gets more serious as it goes on, as the reality of the war sort of hits her. What? I think it's the same seriousness and the same comedy all the way through. You said this before we watched it, and I think you're trying to kind of keep it current, you know what I mean? It's like what trying to make fetch happen, you know what I mean? Try like, what? Not ever going to happen. What do you mean? Trying to make fetch happen. What does that mean? Jesus Christ, Darren. When you were you born? Trying to make fetch. 1988? Yeah. You lived through the 90s, yeah? I did. When was Mean Girls released? 2003, I think. So you think. lived through them as well, didn't you? I've only seen it once. Anyway, it's a quote from... from and what does it mean? Stop trying to make fetch happen. What does that mean? What's her name? Gretchen. Gretchen Wieners, I think that's her name. I She's always trying to make fetch happen. Fetch what does that means mean? it's good. Stop trying to make good happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Call yourself a film fan. Well, I haven't, I've only seen Me and Girls once. I wasn't that big a fan. But I still... I, I, I don't care what you're trying to say to me. Um... Yeah, do you wear like a uh, Snapchat filter on it? There's a guy, yeah, of a fucking ugly face. Uh, oh. <laughs> did you, know, um, you recognise who the, played the guy with Gentleman? the big beard that oh. was just constantly trying to seduce her? I don't like, remember. I don't think no. you recognised him. The guy who was like dancing outside the club, the official. I don't remember. You don't remember who no, it was? Yeah, you don't no, remember whether both, you knew? Both. Do you remember who I'm talking about? Do you remember the character? No, I don't remember the character. What do you mean you don't remember? You don't remember a massive chunk of the movie. Do you remember she kept going to an, like a, sen- a, a senator type person who was going to be like one of the most powerful people in that? Oh, country? that guy. Yeah, yeah, I remember that guy. Do you remember who he is? Do you know who he is? Yeah, it's Doc Ock. Isn't it? Oh, okay, that's all I wanted. I wasn't sure if you knew if it was. Why is this a test? Why it is was this a not test a test. For I was going to give you video? a treat, a bit of information. You it's got, not a treat. Oh God, it was him all along. But it turns out you just already well, knew. I already and knew, now and I watched offended. the film and enjoyed it. Yeah, because you're trying to test me. In I'm not trying public. to test you. I was asking I if to, you knew, so I could. Then I have got a choice now whether I should just get rid of the last five minutes of this video because you've tried to publicly embarrass me. I haven't tried to publicly embarrass you. 
it's a yeah, and I'm sitting there gonna feel like a right knobby. No, you wouldn't. You'd feel dead yeah, happy so because you'd be like, oh, I got to see Alfred Molina. I didn't even That's know. That's not what happens, though, is it? It's you going. Oh, do you know who that was? Oh, you didn't know you bloody idiot. No, of course, I was gonna it's this go. guy like I, the bloody no. driving instructors no. in it. It's like that doesn't oh, mean anything mean... to anyone. <laughs> and it's like, well, don't just try and embarrass me because I'm I not do trying know. To embarrass you. And you didn't even know who Naomi Watts was. Naomi Harris is actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so don't get it wrong. No, you uh, didn't know who. <laughs> Uh, no, you, I, I said anyway, to you, so, do you know who that was? Yes. And then you were going to go, in my mind, who was it? And I was going to go, Alfred it was only Molina. Alfred bloody Molina. And you were going to go, who's Alfred Molina? And I was <laughs> going to go, Alfred you don't even mind. know who Alfred Molina is. <laughs> you even got really angry then, I saw it in your face. Oh my God. And I was going to go, he plays Doc Ock in Spider-Man. And you were going to go, there was no Doc Ock in Spider-Man. They only did two movies. And I was going to go, no, not the amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> The first three by Sam Raimi, and you were going to go Sam who? And I was going to go, <laughs> Sam Raimi. Yeah. That was how I was going to go. And well, then you'd have gone, oh, the guy from the beginning of Indiana Jones. And I was going to go, yeah. I was going to refer to that as well. And I'd have gone, and then everyone would have been happy. I think I prefer your version, to be honest. Well, you didn't let that happen, did you? You got really arsy as I was trying to publicly humiliate you. It's, that's what happened. It still happened, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what is it that you... <laughs> Particularly <laughs> like about this film, Whiskey Tina Tango. Fey, she's just really, um, she really likable, isn't she? She's a really that... down to earth, likable. She does. She's that like way. the. I'm not going to say it, but she's like the. She's like an alternate Secrets. Rosario Dawson. She's like an alternate Rosario Dawson. <laughs> you know how Rosario Dawson's really, um, like, she's dead down to earth and dead. F- like, she just seems really. Do like, you know who she went out with for a bit? Who? Danny Boyle. Really? Yeah. Oh wait, I think I did know that. Is it's that a... after Trance? I suspect I can see why <laughs> yeah, he might have pursued yeah. her around then. <laughs> yeah. Getting those low angles, yeah, the Dutch uh, angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd have been slightly more suspicious if it was right before trance. Yeah, that would yeah. actually be suspicious. I think your fanny should be in my movie. <laughs> yeah. And the rest, and the rest, don't worry. Well, that means You'll the rest of me's it. got to be in there, Danny. <laughs> I guess it does. <laughs> yeah. No, she's amazing. I love Rosaria Dawson. She's brilliant. Do you know what her first film was? I'm not trying to publicly humiliate you. I just wondered if you knew. Do you know? No. Kids. It's, cu- it's kids. Oh. By uh, Larry Clark, All right, just... written by oh, um, my God. oh God, what's his name? The Spring Breakers Gummo right. guy. You're rubbing it in now. I'm not rubbing it. I'm trying to teach you things. Harmony Corinne. Harmony Corinne. Yes, see. <laughs> I feel publicly humiliated now. That's but you got to, you got to so, show some information. Isn't that good? Shut up. Um, Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so she's like the. You say that Tina Fey is the opposite of Rosario no, Dawson. No, no, not the opposite. I'm saying she's an alternate. She's an alternate. They're just uh, cut from the same cloth. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. they're just both really, really I mean, likable and friendly. I yeah, mean, I find them both like one of them is a bit more nerdier and a bit more kind of which one? Uh, from Peter than the other, I guess, if you like. Oh, from Peter's not the right phrase. Which one? I don't want to say because Tina I Tina Fey seems she's to not me. Frumpy. No, I but she seems mumsy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mature. That's what I'm trying to go for. Obviously, I'm not. I'm really not trying to be because well, Rosario, Rosario Dawson's not young, young. I know, but she doesn't kind of carry it in the same way she's as just, Tina I, Fey. I, 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 you must agree. You must agree. Yeah, I kind of see what you mean. Like, I would like Rosario Dawson to be my partner, but I would like Tina Fey to be like, like my... Like a cool auntie or something like that. I was going to say older sister, but it, I guess it would have to be very much older sister. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Your mum does do that kind of thing, though. You know, my mum you know, sleeps around. Spreading their seed, you know. Mine. Like, sowing the wild oats. I don't think that's true. Uh, of the two of us, <laughs> which of us have seen the other mum's oh, well. semi-naked body? Well, you know what? The day the mirth died, Christ <laughs> Almighty! Why do you have to make it? You know, bring it down to reality, down to earth. You don't have to. Well, I just said a thing. Just so bitter. Oh um, my God! Did you like? So you liked the film? Did you like the film a lot? Jesus Christ! Yes, but I wish I wasn't sitting next to you right now or in the film. I said you had a nice pineapple T-shirt on. That's true. Um, I got a new shirt. Um, he keeps talking about it. Out of five, what would you give this film? A four. Why not a five? <laughs> Oh, have you got a fucking issue with that? I don't have a fucking take. issue. Oh my I just God. want to know what you think it was lacking to be <clears throat> not a five. I think maybe it could have been punchier. Like the the comedy could have been harder, and the and the drama could have been harder as well. I suppose you could have said that about the funniest and most dramatic film, though, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you could. Well, if it was a five star film, then no, I couldn't. Of course, but if you it was could. a four star funniest, punchiest, dramatic film ever, then I would say. Well, then, to make it a five star, it needs to be punchier. It's always a. But it it's like always, it's adding gonna... one to infinity, isn't it? It's always going to go up. Exactly. It's always going to go up. It's uh, never going to stop. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with the four. I agree with the four. I thought it was very good. Why? Why what do I agree? could have made it better? More actors. We haven't even talked Mark about Mark Freeman was very good. <laughs> Who haven't we talked about? <laughs> <laughs> you literally finished my sentence. Took you, the words right out of your <laughs> It's like you cut. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Martin um, Freeman right at the end of my sentence. Yeah, the only thing about Martin Freeman oh. is that you can't help but think that perhaps James McAvoy was busy. 
Yeah. Because he's a Scottish Scott. guy. Although the accents very, very good. What is with him doing his accents? He's allowed to play people. He in loves playing place. his little voices, doesn't he? Playing his little voices, he's an actor. <laughs> they do different things. They don't have to. They don't have to, but they do. Oh. Mm. That's true. The film was very good. I really enjoyed Martin it. Martin Freeman was actually really good as well. Once you get over his kind of because he doesn't play his normal character, does he? Like because he's meant he's not well, it's not meant not to be, but he's normally <clears throat> exactly he's normally like all like kind of reserved and a little bit typically British. Bit coy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, he's really reserved and stuff. Um, but in this, he's quite upfront. He's taking pictures yeah, of her ass quite when she's bending Scottish. over and stuff like that. <laughs> well, yeah, he's got yeah, yeah. kind of sums it up as suppose. He's but, a um, cliched Scottish person. Isn't that weird how the British and, uh, you know, you could almost well, say they're Scottish opposite, is British. opposites in that way? Well, they should I know, have voted the opposite way then, shouldn't they? <laughs> oh my God. Um, you had your chance. <laughs> well, they did. Uh, not that I'm fine. Welcome. Well, here. Stay here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's not for you to feel no, good. No, you know, well done on your decisions. Bye, everyone. <laughs>